Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Misty Moss of Moss Photography, and if you are new to my channel, we do boudoir, self-portraits, and all things self-love, but today we're doing something a little bit different. I am in Siena, Italy, and we're staying at this little monastery hotel, and it's so stunning. Um, and I just wanted to go do some self-portraits, take some travel photos with this beautiful backdrop, and I wanted to take you with me. So stay tuned as we go through some tips and tricks for you to use on your next trip. But first, I'm gonna get changed, so one second. Okay, so the tools that I use to do my self-portraits are my phone with a app that connects to my camera via Wi-Fi. You can also use an interval timer. It takes photos every 10 seconds. You can also go old school and just set it up on a 10 second timer and run for your life and get into position. I am shooting on the Canon EOS R um, and I am not showing you a picture of that camera because I'm using it. So here's a picture of it. It's this one. The tripod I'm using is the Peak Design Aluminum Travel Tripod. Um, yeah, all right. Those are the tools we're using. You can, of course, just throw your phone onto a tripod and use that, that works as well. If you do this method, I highly recommend a phone tripod that extends to full length, not like a mini collapsible travel one because it's nice to have that extra height when you're trying to compose your frames and your shots. All right, I don't want to leave this light behind because it's so pretty. <laughs> but we have to go to the next thing, so let's go to the next thing. Okay, tip number one is to look around your surroundings, have a little walk around, um, kind of map out where you want to take pictures. So if you are traveling, kind of do like a little bit of a walk, a little lay of the land before you dive into it. Um, we're staying at a little monastery, a little uh, hotel. Um, so I took a little walk around. I've kind of like picked out some spots that I want to photograph already. So we are going to do that. We're going to start in this location. Here I just wanted to show you the app that's connected to my phone. I just wanted to show you what it looks like um, through the camera. So this is exactly how it looks through the camera I just recorded. So it's a really cool way to visualize what your shot looks like and to pose yourself really specifically as you'll see here. So you just hit the timer, throw your phone away, and pose and go. Okay, tip number two is to be aware of the light and to watch for really beautiful light. So when you're doing your little location scope and you're scouting for a good spot to take your shots, remember what time of day it is, if there's any cool pools of light kind of hanging out that you can kind of put your body in and kind of make the scene just that much more inviting and interesting. We're doing our shoot during golden hour. So we have this beautiful Tuscan sunset to work with. It's absolutely stunning. Um, we only have like an hour not even left. So we're gonna take some photos using this really beautiful golden hour again the importance of using that app that connects to your phone can be seen here because I can really get a glimpse of what the light looks like and how it's painting my subject ie me um, and you can really pose yourself very specifically in your light and in whatever kind of light source you have available to you um, it just allows you to get really specific to set your settings on your camera accordingly um, and to get kind of creative and just play with it so I highly recommend using the app link it up to your phone um, and then just kind of getting creative with whatever light you have around you making sure that you are accounting for the sunset time the golden hour blue hour whatever is calling to you creatively My next tip is play around with posing. So don't just do like a little stand. You wanna kinda of make sure you're incorporating a little bit of diversity into your posing. So try maybe something standing, something sitting, maybe something lying down. Um, play with putting stuff in the foreground and kind of creating that depth in your images. Um, you can also play with how close the camera is to you. So you can do like a really far away, get like a really pretty landscape um, and then kind of shake that up with a little bit of close ups or kind of like mid body kind of shots. So play with different kind of posing and have fun with it. 
Okay, it's getting dark, so I, we have to say goodbye here. I'm gonna leave you with one last tip before I let you go. Um, and hopefully you found this video useful and you can use these tips and tricks on your own traveling to get your own pictures. So last tip for the road, make sure to pay attention to your leading lines, your rule of thirds, which is just kind of where things are placed in the frame. Um, play with your foreground, <laughs> putting stuff in front of the camera, you in the middle, and then kind of having a background. Um, yeah, just don't forget to play. Have fun with it so these are photos I took of my partner and I earlier on in our trip to Italy I wanted to talk about the composition and the posing of them more specifically so this first one is a far away one and you can see I'm playing with some foreground with a bush kind of creating a little bit of depth for us in this one I'm changing it up a little bit we are sitting instead of standing still with that bush kind of framing us in this little third of the picture keeping in mind our rule of thirds for this one playing with a sitting down pose again but this time working with more of a centered composition and keeping the subjects the two of us on the bottom third so that the castle which is something we really wanted to highlight kind of takes up that upper third of the composition using a standing up and sitting uh, pose here to kind of highlight both of those different pose variations. A centered composition again with the castle kind of taking up that upper third of the composition in the frame. So this one highlights three of the tips. The difference of the posing, so getting a very close up kind of detailed shot. The composition where we're on the left hand third of the rule of thirds. And also the lighting. It is a sunset behind us, so there is golden hour kind of highlighting our hair and kind of creating that little detail as well. So yeah, really utilizing and looking for all of those things when you're taking your self portraits is really gonna help you take it to the next level while you're traveling and taking those pictures. And a little like, postscript tip um, is if there's people around uh, it's just something you got to get used to when you're doing your self-portraits especially if you're traveling alone um, it is kind of intimidating at first but I promise it feels less weird over time it's just something you got to practice so that's it for this video I hope you liked it don't forget to subscribe like hit that bell and all that fun stuff and I will see you in the next one bye okay <laughs> we're in Italy so of course Pop some champers. Pop a champer. Or I guess Prosecco.